Hello guys, Mitch Stark here again for Cricket Australia TV. Now we started the test tour, we interviewed James Faulkner. He was here in his first test tour. Tomorrow he's going to make his test debut. Jimmy, thanks for coming back and joining us again. You're going to be player 435. How are you feeling, excitement going into your first test match? Yeah, look, obviously pretty excited uh, about tomorrow and uh, hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight. I've, I've heard most of the boys when they make their debut, they don't get much sleep, so hopefully tonight I can get some rest and uh, start well tomorrow. Beautiful, and we've had our last preparation out here today. The boys are finishing up behind us here. Have you uh, prepared the last couple of days? Yeah, look, I didn't really, I don't really do much the day before the game, so I had a had a light hit, and um, and now I'm lucky enough to be speaking with you. So that's pretty much my afternoon. We've well, done all the main media now; it's just the, the light-hearted, you know, fun stuff, isn't it? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, so we'll stay away from the cricket. Um, so, what do you normally do before a big game? And uh, I guess going back to your your domestic debuts and, and that sort of thing, well, what are you going to do before your test debut? That's a very good question. Um, maybe, maybe a bit of a haircut or a, well, bit of a shave funny. or something like that. It's funny you've said that. I've, I'm actually booked at five o'clock this afternoon to get a little bit of a salad trim. So I've, I've got that. That'll probably chew up about an hour before dinner and um, get a nice feed somewhere with some, with some good blokes. I don't know if you want to come, but... Uh, yeah, we'll happy see to what's come before we get the invite, but uh, we'll see how we go. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you might get that salad done. It'll look a bit better than mine. A bit long, at the, hair, bit yeah. long at the moment. <laughs> well, we've uh, hit the oval. You know, the series hasn't gone our way, but uh, how much would it mean to you, especially in your first Test match and the rest of the squad, to, to finish on a high and finish with a win, a win, sorry, and, and obviously sing that that great song that uh, hopefully you'll have a chance to in, in five days' time. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, that's the main main goal for everyone, I suppose, to to win this Test match and get some confidence going back to Australia uh, for the summer back home. Um, and yeah, to, to sing the song would obviously be, be fantastic. Um, I've only got to sing it once in, in the, after the ODI win against the West Indies, but um, it'd be nice to sing it another five or six days. Especially uh, to finish your tour. But um, stay away from the cricket side of things. Um, being, a, a, I guess, a, a newbie to the test side of all things, um, I know you're, you're quite uh, neat and, and yep. you know, uh, pretty you know, anal on the whole laundry thing. You wear a yep. shirt for five minutes and you need it washed. Um, yep. So you're pretty neat. Who's the messiest in the squad? Oh, well, there's... Before I, before I went away, I had a little text message from uh, Jackson Bird asking if um, he could stay in my house for a couple of weeks. Uh, I declined. I declined and said, no, mate. And he, and he took it probably a little bit offensive. But to be brutally honest, he's a messy bloke, one. And two, he loses stuff. So I was worried about being away from home, the other side of the world, and maybe him losing my house care. I wasn't, wasn't going to say he was going to, but that was one of the options that could happen. Um, I don't think he's quite <laughs> forgiven me yet, but... Um, yeah, look, that's, that's how it is at the moment. It must be a Tassie thing because uh, Eddie Cowan misplaces a lot of things and I think he's still looking for his shoes from the, the Test match in Hobart last year. But um, maybe, mm. uh, I guess, maybe besides yourself, mm. who's the most annoying on tour? I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty annoying. Um, most annoying. Might have, to, might have to be Birdie again. Birdie again. I might have to pick on him again. Now and Birdie. Yeah. All he does is ever sit on the. He sits on the team bus with his headphones on and d doesn't really communicate to any of the boys. Okay. I, I think Pretty it's sociable. a little. I think it's a little bit rude. Yeah. Um, no good on team bus ride. Nah, he's not much fun no. to sit next to. All right. Uh, <laughs> worst dressed. Ed Cowan. Ed Cowan. Yeah, yeah I don't want a few to... bad shirts. Yeah, Eddie. Too neat for me. Best dressed. Best dressed. Yeah. Who's best dressed? Besides yourself, of course. You. Always got a nice yeah, number. Right. I'm always looking pretty sharp. Um, <laughs> best dressed. Pups up there. Sids has started to get into his fashion. Um, yeah, one of those two maybe. All right, we'll finish on a good one because I know you probably do this quite a bit yourself. Yes. Um, who in the squad spends the most time in front of the mirror? Oh, oh. Matty Wade. Matty Wade. Yeah, he loves himself. There you go. Yeah. Very good. Well, Jimmy, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Very big good luck for your debut. Cheers, Hope thank you do you. well. I'll be out there with you. I'm very, uh, very much looking forward to playing with another left armour. Cheers. So uh, good luck to Jim. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. So stay tuned for the next five days as we uh, play our last test match here in England uh, at the Oval. Uh, also going on, we've got the Women's Ashes. Uh, they're playing at Lords today and, and they'll have their one days and, and 2020 formats along with the boys in the coming weeks as well. So for all those tours and all those games, you can uh, pay attention to www.cricket.com.au for all the action and all the scores. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>